So my name is Josh Mosquera. I am the game director of Reaper Souls. Okay, the first question, it is because of your, uh, my impatience why Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls was revealed at Gamescom instead of BlizzCon. Yes. Mathiel, the Archangel of Wisdom, is not the Angel of Wisdom anymore in Reaper of Souls, but the Angel of Death. Yes. Uh, oh. Not, not, not uh, the finish. Oh. Therefore, Mathiel uh, was deprived of her status as Archangel of uh, Angry's Council. Maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the opening cinematic of Diablo III Reaper of Souls, uh, Tyriel's sword did not do any harm to Malthiel. And that implies that Malthiel's cause and behavior are just and righteous. Yes. The reason Malthiel has created Reaper is similar to Tyriel's motivation to create a war of sin and terminate the sanctuary thereby bring an end to the eternal struggle. Yes. Covetous Shen is in fact Mathiel. Maybe. Mathiel has turned to uh, the angel of death and this is a different case from the corruption of uh, Iranius and Israel. Yes. yes. Mathiel's main armory is Chaladrar, the holy grail of wisdom, even after she became the angel of death. Maybe. Imperius, uh, Auriel, Ethereal, also show up in Diablo III Reaper of Souls. Deckard Cain. Oh, yes, yes. Deckard Cain predicted the appearance of Angel of Death in the Book of Cain. Yes. Yeah. Deckard Cain's prediction on uh, Ethereal, the Arch Archangel of Fate, has already come true. No. In the ending cinematic of Diablo III Vanilla, Tyriel says, I will stand. Uh, I will now stand as wisdom, and that already implied the Reaper of Soul at that time. Maybe there appears a new historian uh, who succeeded to Abd uh, Al Hazir and Deckard Cain in Diablo Three: The Reaper of Souls. Yes, Nurad Nar is the new leader of Horadrim. Maybe. It is since the destruction of the world stone when Malthiel has got somewhat different. Maybe. In Diablo 3 animation Wrath, Archangels get covered with Diablo's blood and this, this has something to do with Malthiel uh, becoming the angel of death. No. Malthiel heads for Pandemonium Fortress and this is because she needs Hell's uh, Forge to destroy the Black, uh, black Soul Stone. Maybe. From Westmarch to Pandemonium Fortress, that's all the exploration in Act 5 of Reaper of Souls. True or false? Yes uh, or not? Uh, no. There will be more. The playtime and exploration areas of Act 5 amount to a couple of, maybe two or three uh, acts uh, in Diablo 3 Vanilla. Uh, no. Pandemonium Fortress of Diablo 3, uh, Reaper of Souls, has changed drastically when compared to that of Diablo 3. Yes. Hell without Asmodan and Belial is in a state of chaos without leaders. Yes. Players can experience battles again against elite demons as well in uh, Reaper of Souls. Yes. Players can encounter at least one of Mephisto, Baal, Diablo, Andariel, Duriel, Belial, and Asmodan in the Reaper of Souls. At least one. Maybe. Uh, Westmarch is located in the west of Kandras in the map of Sanctuary. Uh, yes. 
The story of Reaper of Souls happens in the Kazani year of uh, 1285, same as Diablo 3 Vanilla. Uh, maybe. The tragedy of Leonic uh, family line from King Leonic, uh, Albrecht, Aidan, and Lea uh, also appears in Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. Maybe. Uh, Adria is hiding somewhere, dreaming of the return of Diablo. Maybe. The higher a player's paragon level is, the easier he or she can play Reaper of Souls. No. Pandemonium 2.0 and Loot, loot 2.0 are applied to the players who do not purchase the expansion pack Reaper of Souls. Maybe. Crusader is the same being as Paladin, only in different name. Uh, no. Warrior, the hero of Diablo 1, also gave in inspiration for the creation of the new class Crusader. Yes. Crusader has a stronger spell uh, than Paladin. Yes. Crusader can use both-handed swords. Yes. Crusader's wrath is different from Barbarian's fury. Yes. There is a Blizzard employee who resembles Crusader. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> if I put okay. a suit on of armor, yes. Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls will be released in the market next year, 2014. Oh, maybe. Uh, the beta build of the Reaper of Souls will be developed based on the demo, demo trial version currently available at Gamescom. Uh, maybe. There is possibility that the Reaper of Souls can be released for PCs and consoles at the same time. No. Reaper of Souls has the same PC system requirements uh, as Diablo 3 Vanilla. Yes. I hope that uh, Blizzard Entertainment can product the first beta test of the Reaper of Souls within this year. Yes. Much more information about uh, the Reaper of Souls will be available at the upcoming BlizzCon in November. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, this, uh, you should be uh, honest. I personally want to put a Joshua monster uh, as an Easter egg in the Reaper of Souls and uh, knock it down. <laughs> yes. Yes. And I hope, I don't know, maybe it means yes. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you said, uh, you answered that uh, Crusader and Paladin are different beings. Yes. And uh, he is uh, curious about uh, the difference. W what makes the difference the between from the same uh, Yeah. Yes. And so what's the difference? The, so the Crusader and the Paladin originate from the same, from the same order. But while the, the, the paladins traveled west, you know, so spread the Zakarum faith, the crusaders are an uh, elite detachment, an elite order within the, the, the paladins. They were chosen because they had the, they had the, the, the strongest capacity to embody the, the power of the paladins. And they splintered off and became their own sect. And uh, was really cool from a lore perspective is that there's only a fixed number of crusaders. Every crusader takes on an apprentice and when one crusader dies, the apprentice takes on the role, the shield, and the name of their, of their master. I really, um, again, I'm really, as a long time fan of, of Diablo, uh, and uh, my expectation is that, um, that people really enjoy all the new changes we have. We're, there are a lot of changes coming. Um, we're taking the best parts of Diablo 3 and we're trying to make them better. And at the same time, we want to give players 
a lot of options when it comes to how they play the game. And I'm really excited for, for players to try out the Crusader, to see Malfeo uh, in, in action, to see his Reaper, to so really get a sense of the darker tone of the game. But more importantly, I want players to find a lot of really awesome items, have a lot of fun sort of uh, running loot runs and exploring a lot of the other end game content uh, modes that we'll be adding to Reaper Souls. Thank you. You guys always gave a wing as a gift. Oh, that's, that's, thank you. So he, he, as well as the player and the fan, wants to give you the wing. Thank you. That's fantastic. Yeah, you know what it is? Yes, I, I, uh, well, I figured they're, they're, they're to protect my car. <laughs> if, if it was a quiz, you know, like, if you know what it is, and if you don't know, we just take it away. Oh. <laughs> but I, I passed, though. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And, and I like the color. Yeah. My, my daughters will love this on the car. And, and yeah, you have to put it on your car. Or I promise. You have to put it, or, like, you I, give the, us the, the proof that... When I... When I when I go home, these will go on the car, and I, you, it will it will be fun. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.